Hi there, Kate Pop lovers. I want to wish a happy fifth anniversary to Miss Bakerella, the queen of pops, for her first book, Kate Pops by Bakerella. I am challenging myself to recreate all of Bakerella's cake pops that are in her book, just like in the movie Julie and Julia. Then I will give each cake pop a difficulty level from easy, medium, or hard. The first treat in her book is your basic cake ball. I won't be making those because those are super simple to make. The second treat in her book is your basic cake pop. If you search up Bakerella on YouTube, you will find her tutorial on how to make these. The third treat is your basic cupcake cake pop. I will be making these and you will need brown candy melts, pink candy melts, mini M&Ms, sprinkles, your cake balls, and a one and one fourth flower shaped cookie cutter. Let's begin. You'll want to take your cake ball and your cookie cutter. Then you're going to want to take your cake ball and roll it into a cylinder shape. Now slide it into the cookie cutter. This should form a mound on the top and then use your fingers to flatten out the bottom side. Holding the top mound, you should be able to gently slide it out. You will see that there's little crevices on the sides of the cake ball. It's time to dip. Take your brown candy melts and your cupcake ball and dip in the bottom half. I do want to recommend adding Paramount crystals to your candy melts. This will make it much easier to dip and pull out. Take your cake pop stick, dip the tip into the candy melts, and insert it into the cake ball halfway through. Tap off any excess candy melts and set it aside upside down and let cool. Dip the top of the cupcake into the melted pink candy melts. It should completely cover the rest of the exposed cupcake and meet the edge of the chocolate coating. Again, you'll want to shake off the excess candy melts. Now grab your sprinkles and your M&Ms and we're ready to start decorating. Place one M&M with the M side down on the top and then add your sprinkles. And there you have it, a cupcake cake pop. This gets a medium on the difficulty level. Treat number four, basic cupcake bites. You will need brown candy melts, purple candy melts, regular size M&Ms, sprinkles, a cupcake form you can buy at any cake supply store, a squeeze bottle, a spatula, and your cake balls. Let's get started. If making more than one cupcake bite, use a squeezy bottle to fill in the cavities. For this video, I am only making one, so I will use a spatula to fill one cavity of the candy mold about halfway full with chocolate coating. Immediately place the roll cake ball into the candy coating. The cake ball should be slightly smaller than the width of the candy mold. Slowly push the cake ball down until the pressure causes the candy coating to force its way up on the sides of the cake ball. Wipe off any excess chocolate and freeze for 15 minutes. Once chilled, you want to separate the half-coated cupcake bite from the candy mold. You want to give the mold a twist, a little pull, a little push, wiggle it around. It's kind of hard to get it out, but once it's out, it's beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha, look at there. It's so pretty. I love it. Holding the bottom of the cupcake bite, Dip the top into the melted purple candy melt until it meets the edge of the chocolate coating. Now pulling it out, shake off any excess candy coating and it's time to decorate. Take your M&M with the M side down and place it at the top. Now add your sprinkles.
This cupcake bite is so cute, it's even cuter than the cupcake cake pop. This would be perfect for a birthday party. On the difficulty level to make, this gets an easy. So I hope you liked this video, you learned how to make a cupcake cake pop and the cupcake bite. For more cake pop ideas, check out bakerella.com and come back every week for more new videos. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.